class is going to be a demonstration on using overrides uh, for both temperature and set points for uh, whether it's a single zone, a space temperature, or it could even be for like a makeup air unit or an air handler uh, or exhaust fans. So to get started, we're going to go to a simple VAV box and we're going to use one called Mod 1. And in this case, um, overrides and set points are all located right on this main screen. Pretty much anything on the main screen, the first one you click on, that's called the Equipment tab. All of the points on the screen are overridable. This isn't really where you set set points. This is where you would override a system out of its normal operation. So it's a very easy process if you're on a PC or even a Windows tablet or something like this. This is a pretty easy process. It's simply a right click and then click override. Um, now, one thing that tends to happen is people uh, tend to use this just as a permanent override, um, which I wouldn't suggest uh, because once it's overridden, it will never go out of it, and that can be a problem if you're doing it with fans, fan status. Um, so I'd say get in the habit of picking a time that you want it to be an override. In this case, I'm going to pick one minute because I don't want it to stay an override, uh, but you could pick even a custom multiple hours, days, weeks, um, you know, for the whole summer, something like that. When that time limit expires, uh, the unit will go back into automatic operation. The best part of not picking permanent is you don't have to remember to go back and put this thing back into automatic today, tomorrow, last night, uh, whatever it is. So we're going to do one minute. And the first thing you're going to notice is that that box has turned purple, which is indicating that it's an override, as shown over here on our status legend. Um, so that point is in override, and the equipment is going to operate to that set point right now. Um, so in this case, we didn't really change the set point, but that's what it's doing. Uh, same for occupancy mode. If I want to override this room to be unoccupied, which is pretty simple, you would just select whatever mode you want it to be. And again, I would suggest picking a period of time that you want it to do that. <coughs> uh, this is how you would do overrides on a system. Same for airflow. Anything that is bold or italicized is an overridable, uh, commandable point. If it's just typical text that's not bold, that is not an overridable point. That is a status point. On the set points page, um, these are not overridable points. On this page, this is just where you're setting up the normal operational parameters of the system. So as it goes occupied and unoccupied, um, these points are what the program will follow. So they're not overridable, they're just settable. Uh, so for example, in the occupied heating set point, you would click and it's just popping up. You can see you don't have the override timers or anything like that. This is just setting up normal operation. Same goes for, there's a, a previous video on doing the scheduling setup, so I won't go into detail with that here. Um, but you also have the options to put things back into automatic right from here. Um, all of these types of values are all settable uh, right from this location. So, um, some users, uh, we've run into this a little bit more lately, um, are using uh, Macintosh computers with a Safari web browser. And in that case, you need to call and let uh, Woodman Controls know, because there are a couple of things we can do to make that, uh, make that type of system work easier. Um, when you're looking at this on a Safari browser with what they call an HX view, uh, that purple color you just saw uh, doesn't turn purple. It kind of takes some of the animation away from the graphics to run it on uh, mobile devices. So that right-click feature also goes away because there's not a right-click feature <coughs> within that HX view. Um, so in that case, we've created another little pane up here that are just for Mac overrides. Um, those Mac overrides, I'm just adding the the, the main points that we'd want to do. So in a typical building operation, you may want to make force a room to be occupied and force the heating or cooling set point to a position. Those are the only ones we have in there uh, standardly. Uh, we can add more, uh, subtract more. You can do, uh, a, we can do anything we want in that position. Um, but from your Mac, and again, I'm not on a Mac, so it's hard to see it. You just click that button and it's going to pop up this same screen like we saw before. So we're going to say override one minute. Um, in the in the Macintosh case, you're going to see some push buttons and uh, clickables, uh, all the same type of information. 
and you can see the status over here is showing that this point is in override now. Now again, on your Mac, you're not going to see the color, but it's showing that the point is in override. Um, when you're done with this point, you need to select it to go back to auto. So it essentially is turned into two push buttons. Instead of having the right click feature, now we just have a push button feature. And you can see it's even turning the color purple down here so you can see that it's in override on the PC. Again, you won't see that on the Mac. So finally, now that we've put a bunch of points in override, um, maybe in this case or in the past in a building, uh, it can get a little overwhelming, especially in a big building where you have lots and lots of uh, points overridden and maintenance staff and uh, it, you can end up with hundreds and hundreds of points inside of a big building that are all in override. Um, we've kind of thought of this and provided a fairly easy way to find all that. Oops, sorry. Under the Advanced tab, there's a summary called the Override Summary. And what this Override Summary does, and it takes a little time, it's fairly fast on this system because it's kind of small, uh, but if you do a big system that has hundreds of uh, controllers, this, this report could take... Um, upwards of a couple of minutes. It goes and scans every point in the system and then reports back here anything that's in override. So this is a good review spot every once in a while to go back and see how many things have been overridden. And this is the one we were just working on, Mod 1. And the nice part is right. I don't have to go to that device again to release it. I can right click right here and return it to auto. Next time I run that report um, Next time I run that report, those points that I've put back to auto will not be in there again. So I hope this has done a good job of explaining um, how to get through those types of points in a system. Uh, if you have any questions, contact Woodman Controls.